Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So the hunt for Aegon continues. As you can see, I already purchased two. We're going to open both of them up regardless. Even if I get an Aegon, which I'd be very surprised, uh, on the first one, I'm still going to open up the second one because there's always a chance to get an Omega Red or a Namor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and... Uh, get going now let me pop up the most wanted and we'll pop up the dupe counter here so uh obviously Aegon is the one we want out of these crystals omega red would be crazy good so would namor okay uh let's go ahead and uh spin this out so in order of desirability Aegon would be first, followed by Omega Red, and then Namor. That is the order that you see them listed there. That is the order that I would love to see them myself. Now, um, I think I have most of the other champions here. Uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins would be a first-time awakening. Um, all right, slowing down. Let's see what we got. Did we get Aegon this time? Kabam. Oh, oh, it just kept sliding by. I would have taken the Omega Red, obviously, but if it had stopped on the Black Widow Deadly Origins, at least it would have been an awakening for her. So I would have taken that. Um, I did say last time I was going to take a break from these crystals, but I feel like I owe it to my alliance to keep going. Even though I would probably rather open up Mystic and Science. Um, I think that pool is better for me currently. Um, but we're going to keep going. Ooh, it didn't want to come. So, if we don't get Aegon in these first two, what I will do is hold this video. And then when these crystals come around again, if I can open up another couple, I'll do that and add it on to this one so we'll see how it goes um but yeah Aegon, omega red namor a first time awakening of black widow deadly origins would be nice other than that i don't really see anybody in here uh that i would want so more than likely we're gonna get dupes as we have been getting so we'll see if this is the time we're gonna break that streak can we do it? Anybody? Anybody good? I don't see nobody good. And we got her twice. Both of our crystals were the same champion. That is fun. All kinds of fun. I hope you guys can smell the sarcasm. So this was a horrible, horrible opening. Terrible. The same exact champion twice. I mean, really? Um, so <clears throat> once again, like I said, I would have been done with these crystals, uh, but I felt like I owed it. It's not like I really like Aegon. I don't really like ramp up champions, but I feel like I have to at least try for him and show that effort. Um, I would much rather do the mystic and science. Um, but in any case, we're going to add on to this video. So this is only part one. Okay, so in a minute, we'll be back and we'll just keep on trying. If they keep on doing this kind of thing, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to take it. So see you in a little bit. Hey, everyone. Shadow here and welcome. Oh, wait. You guys already heard that already, right? Yeah, this is part two of The Hunt for Aegon, episode 11. And this is going to be the last one for a while because I'm kind of tired of getting these dupes and I feel like it is uh, hurting my progression. And I would rather open up the mystic and science crystals. So regardless of what happens in this next part here, we're going to take a break. So if we get Aegon, awesome. If we can get Namor or Omega Red, that would be phenomenal. 
But if we get dupes like we've been getting for quite a while, we're just going to move on. OK, so let's go ahead and grab our first one, which is actually our third. And we'll go out, go back in, go out, go back in. And there we go. And we will see how well our luck goes. And I kind of already figure, you know, at this point, I don't have much hope in getting uh, Aegon from here, at least not right now. And I'm okay with that, but there's always the hope that we will get him. So let's see what happens. And I'm hoping that we will get an Aegon. All right, slowing down on its own. Let's see. Do we got an Aegon? There he is, waving at us like he's done every other time we've opened these and lands on a Mole Man. Now, that might be a first time awakening, though. Let's see, is it a first time awakening? Yes, first time awakening. So, at least we got a first time awakening, but it's Mole Man, all right? So, not gonna help me a whole lot at all, but it's nice to see those silver stars. Now, Kabam in the calendar gave us 10,000 shards, so that's why I'm able to open up two of these right now uh, but I will be saving these up and uh, opening up new dual class crystals maybe we'll get a Dr. Doom even though five stars at this point are not going to help my prestige except for Dr. Doom everyone else is not going to do much for me so I've actually stopped being interested in five-star sig stones right at the time that kabam has been flooding us they've been flooding us because they no longer matter for that upper level prestige so now there's no problem just giving them away like water but i will no longer spend units to get these five-star signature stones and you'll notice that they are um really giving them away all right the last one for a while uh let's see what we got Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it was going to keep going. I really thought it was going to keep going. Well, that's a nice way to end this. Finally, I got one of the three that I want out of here. And Omega Red, I have the six star at rank two, unawakened. Next level up, we're going to be taking this guy up. I have enough six stones that I'll be able to max him out. Uh, so that was a very nice ending. I'm still going to take a little break, though, from these crystals, but I'll take that. That is really nice, man. Uh, he was one of my most wanted from this crystal. The other one was Namor and, of course, Aegon being the one that I wanted the most. Uh, he was second. So, wow. Okay. After all of these crystals I've opened, still don't have an Aegon, but at least I got an Omega Red, and I will max him out, and I'll start using him in war over the six star uh, rank two unawakened Omega Red until I can awaken that Omega Red and possibly uh, take him to rank three. But I'm not thinking of doing that now that I have the five star. So for a mutant, I might take up my Magneto who doesn't really need to be awakened. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. It ended with a very, very nice pull. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.